Well, earlier this week, a remarkable discovery was made at the Letting Mine in Lesotho. A diamond measuring 910 carats was discovered by Gem Diamonds in Lesotho. And this morning, we're joined by Chief Operating Officer at Gem Diamonds, Johnny Veloza, to tell us more. Johnny, good morning. Welcome to Expresso. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's so good to have you. Now, I must tell you, when I heard about the discovery of this diamond, I was like, oh, my goodness. Now, just put it into context for us for a second. This is the largest diamond ever found by Gem Diamonds, and it is the fifth largest ever. How much is a diamond of this, you know, kind of magnitude valued at, and exactly how big is a 910-carat diamond? Well, that's a, a difficult question to answer in terms of the value, but I'll, I'll give you a sense of how big it is. It's yeah. marginally smaller than a tennis ball, okay. which is a huge diamond. Wow. Putting a value to this diamond is pretty difficult, um, simply because we have not had very many of them produced. You know, we've been producing diamonds for 200 years, and this is the fifth largest. So there's not a big uh, sample that we can benchmark against. But the bottom line is, is that the diamond is worth what people are willing to pay for it. And okay. there's been a lot of press around this diamond, and people are saying they think it's worth between 40 and $50 million. Wow. That is incredible. Now, Johnny, take us through the process of discovering such a diamond. Because I'm sure it's not just something that you, you know, come across easily. No, it's not. Uh, at our mine, we produce um, only 20 kilograms of diamonds a year. But in the process, we process 7 million tons of material. And the idea here is that you use the natural property of diamonds to recover it. So we actually uh, concentrate the material down to about 10% of the original head feed, and then we put it through X-ray machines that look for the fluorescent properties as well as the carbon content of the diamonds. So it's a fairly high-tech process at high volume uh, that can produce large amounts of um, material in one go. And ultimately, at the end of it, we would get a very small percentage of product, which is then hand sorted by our team here on site. And uh, if we're lucky, like we were last Friday, we find a magnificent diamond of 910 carats. Absolutely amazing. What happens to this diamond after this? Okay, so the diamond is currently in Europe. Um, we clean it. Uh, if you've seen photographs of the diamond, it does have small little bits of rock attached to it, so we clean it in an acid process. The next process is we put it into uh, a scanner, which is basically a high-powered electron microscope that will show us the quality of the diamond, just how good is this magnificent diamond. Um, once that's done, uh, we then put it through a fairly extensive marketing process. Um, you will appreciate that there are very few people or very few organizations in the world that can afford to pay between 40 or $50 million for a diamond. Yeah. So we know who they are, uh, and we will start making contact with them in the next couple of weeks to let them have an opportunity to see the diamond and determine what they think it's worth um, prior to us um, actually putting it through our tender process for sale. Wow, definitely interesting times ahead. This is definitely one for the books, especially for your books at Gem Diamonds, right? Uh, it most certainly is. The excitement within our small organization is fantastic. You know, Gem Diamonds has been going for 12 years. And in those 12 years, we've produced some truly magnificent diamonds. But this one, this one is the crown jewel for us, no doubt. Absolutely, the crown jewel indeed. Thank you so much, Johnny, for joining us on our Feel Good Breakfast Show. So excited and, of course, definitely going into the history books, this one.